Hi, my name is Brad Tucker, and the reason for this short video is to show the difference between our original Generation 1 surfboard frame kits and our new Generation 2 surfboard frame kits. Uh, we recently we made some improvement to our, our product. Uh, we posted it on social media and we got some great response. We also got some confusion. So we thought it best to uh, make this video to explain exactly what the improvements to the new design are. And we call that Generation 2. So I'll start with how Generation 1 kit uh, comes to you in the box if you were to purchase one. Uh, for the domestic sales that go to the lower 48 uh, US, excluding Hawaii and Alaska, the kit, your kit comes to you in a box like this. It's eight foot long. And inside the box is this plywood sheet with all your ribs and spar. You punch them out and clean them up pretty much exactly the way you would uh, a model airplane kit if you've ever done that. And once the frame is apart, you can put this together like this. And I'm not going to go into uh, great detail about exactly how to uh, put this kit together because that's what our instructions are for. But I want to go in, uh, you know, a very abbreviated version so that you can see the improvements. Uh, on the first generation kits uh, in the instructions, also the instructions, uh, by the way, are available for a free download if you want to check this out before you purchase. Uh, you can go to our homepage, woodsurfboardsupply.com, click on How To. That will take you to a page with four books. Two of them are for sale, and two are free downloads, including the, the full instructions for this kit. So, uh, real short on how this goes together, one of the first things that we asked the builder to do in the original instructions is to make a, a build, flat building table. We don't use a rocker, a jig, or anything like that. Uh, we asked the builder to support the kit above the table uh, with leveling sticks. And I uh, have like this. And we do not supply these temporary sticks in the Generation 1 kits. We ask that the builder cut scraps. And the way these work is you simply level the board up and hot melt glue these to the t both the table and the rib. You don't want to glue them like crazy because these are going to la later get peeled off and removed. So um, one of the improvements uh, involves these sticks. And uh, that's it for the generation one kits, I think, as much of an explanation as I can. The frame is made of mahogany, it's CNC cut. And oh, uh, if uh, our international customers, uh, I want to mention that because it's the reason why this is kit is cut in two pieces. If you uh, buy within the U.S., the frame kit comes with the longer spar pieces are all one piece. If you notice, this one has a, a spar in it that's about seven foot long. This is one of our seven foot board kits. And on this kit, there were a couple of long spars that we cut. And the reason for that is so we can get it in a smaller box and ship it internationally. So our export kits are exactly the same as our domestic kits, just that there are the longer parts are cut. And we would uh, uh, ask the, the builder to use gussets to put these back together in England or New Zealand, wherever they are. Okay, so that's a Generation 1 kit. And this is a Generation 2 kit. So, the, uh, there's really just two differences. And let me start by saying that our existing Generation 1 instructions fully apply to the Generation 2 kits. The main difference is instead of asking the customer to supply the support sticks uh, and measure them and level them up, we now include those parts. And we call them the tucker tabs. 
And all they are is little tabs with notches. There is a corresponding, let's see if I can pull one of these off, this is very tight. There's a corresponding notch in each one of the ribs. Each one of these tabs is pre-measured, numbered, and the ribs and other parts are numbered. So you don't have to cut, you just slip these all together. This one is not glued together, it's all just dry fit. And as you can see, you drop it on a flat table. Everything is all just the way it needs to be. And uh, again, I'm not gonna go into the full instructions, they're on the website, but the, the next uh, thing to do with this kit would be simply uh, attach it to the table. You can see there's a lot less work to do because the tabs are provided. And also, I'm gonna go ahead and place this in line with the camera so you can see that these tabs, wherever possible, we left them in a straight line. Some of the smaller ribs we had to move them in, but the majority of them are in a straight line. So on your building table, you can put a straight stick or snap a line and keep these things in perfect alignment. Very easy. The other improvement is that you'll notice that this frame has ventilation holes everywhere. Um, on the first generation kits, pretty much everybody always cut holes in them. And uh, we left that to the builder. It is a good idea to have holes in your ribs, not necessarily to lighten the frame. If you actually weigh the, the little parts that came out of here, it, it amounts to virtually nothing. Uh, but uh, the ventilation is very important. You don't want to have any closed spaces inside of a hollow board. It, the air needs to flow easily so that the board lasts a long time. So that we, that's all cut now. And if you, for the kits that are designed to go internationally, uh, we've taken all the long pieces and where they've been cut, instead of asking the builder to put gussets in these places, we've dovetailed them, which is a very nice feature. And finally, these frame kits are all laser cut. Generation or CNC cut, which is a very precise way of cutting a frame. Uh, you do get a little fuzziness because it's cut with a router bit and uh, on the laser it's just cut absolutely perfectly. So those are the main differences between a generation one frame kit and a generation two. If you, uh, you know what, I want to uh, get a close up here. I left a couple of parts out because there's one, oops, there's one uh, bit of confusion that I want to clear up. So I'm going to have to take the camera off the tripod Hopefully I can do this without getting too wobbly. And I'm gonna to wanna to focus in here. Okay, so part of the confusion we had, you see these parts go right on the tail. Here's what it looks like assembled. And here are the parts unassembled. Uh, we sent out some information on our social media about the Tucker tabs and some people thought that they could buy just the Tucker tabs and add them to a kit they already have. That does not work because you, the tab needs to have the corresponding slot. So you can see that if we, if you had these tabs for this kit, you just don't know where they go. So this is all machined at the same time. In addition, if you look close, you can see this rib, let's see how close I can get. This particular rib that goes right here has slots for the frame and it needs slots for the tabs. So to keep things from getting confused, confusing, we made it very clear. You can see this one says T-tab, that's where this goes, and spar, that goes to that slot right there. And then of course it has a ventilation hole to make sure there are no closed spaces. So that is the difference between a second generation kit I have in front of me, laser cut, and a first generation kit. If you have any other questions, please ask. You can email us at info at woodsurfboardsupply.com or you can call us at 714 834-9968. Mahalo for watching and we hope to see you in the water.